Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, uh, please inform your classmates no, nga maghinahinin nagsulod at exactly so, so 10 mag-start na ito. No? Alas 2 G's mag-start na ito. So 10. Thank you. And by the way, uh, Mr. Christian, ikaw mag-opening prayer ha. Prepare lang paliwag daan. Okay, uh, clarification lang, no? Mr. Anton, and to everyone. So, bisa pag present mo virtually, but kung di mo mag-participate sa mga question nga, kung i-provide sa inyo, wala mo points no? So, in every question sa akong topic nga i-discuss, magtubag mo either sa chat box or virtual oral uh, one, kaning presentation, no? Pwede lang mo mo oral discussion or oral reaction sa inyong answer. Kung mag-attendance lang mo nga uh, dili mo more, mo kuan participate online, igura mo mo attendance wala mo points nga makuha. So muna muna sa ako lang ipasabot sa inyo uh, Mr. Anton and to all your classmates sa inyo tanan no. Nga uh, ang akong ang tagaan akong points kadto mo participate online. No. Thank you. Anang igura mo sulod, then dili man mo response, dili mo participate, virtually, wala na siya points. No? So, mamili mo, na points or no, wala points. The discussion ako, mag-record mag ko kung kisa itong mag-participate virtually. Thank you. At exactly, again, at exactly so then, mag-start na dahin ta para mahuman mahuman tag sa sayo para maka-prepare na mo for the another subjects ninyo nga klase
Okay, so shall we start? Mr. Christian? Christian? May I call on the presence of Mr. Pre Christian? Christian? Mr. Christian? Mr. Christian? Okay, nag-leave? Nag-left? So any volunteer para sa ito ang opening prayer? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Again, any volunteer for the opening prayer? Okay, Mr. Anton, opening prayer, please. Okay, thank you, Mr. Anton. So, once again, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon. everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, good afternoon. So, ako i-repeat akong instuana. Rules, new rules. Dapat mag-participate mo virtually. It's either oral participation or uh, sending message to our chat box. Para magandawan ako. Para kung mga reklamo mo sa inyong grado, ako na ipakita sa inyo ang class record. Nagkasinabot ha? Oh, sir. Okay, loud and clear. So, in this afternoon class, we will talk about another topic. No? I know kanina topic is piminti na ninyo ni Madunggan. Labi na sa inyong research nga subject. Okay, so let us talk about plagiarism. So, piminti na muna kadoga ni, dili na ni bago sa inyo ang word plagiarism. So, my question is, what is plagiarism? You, again, you can send your feedback to our chat box para akong ma-record. Okay, any insights, any feedback para ako na yung i-discuss right after. Okay, according to Mr. Christian, no? uh, in his thoughts about the uh, plagiarism, copying others' work. According to Mr. Carroll, plagiarism is any unauthorized use of parts of the whole of any article without giving proper credit to the original writer. According to Mr. Anton, uh, plagiarism is simply copying works that is not ours. According to Joel, stealing someone else's ideas, works, or writing. Diba? Kanang gapangangkon ba? No? Kanang mga assuming ito kayo na sige, ingon nga sila, pero dili di ay. Di ba? No? May mga tao nga gusto kay mangangkon nga sige, ingon nga sila, pero dili di ay. So, plagiarism. Okay? So, another, according to Miss Irenia, presenting someone else's work or idea as your own with or without their consent. According to Ms. Mia, plagiarism is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them as uh, as passing them off as one's own. So, muna na, ako nang ginaingon sa inyo, ka na ang gapangangkon. Gapangangkon nga ka mo, pero dili di ay. So, how about the others? Any idea any insights no mura ni mga tawhana na adiri no sa walo ka book nga nagpresent 
no? Ako yung hapon din. 2, 4, 6, 7. Okay? According to Renya, that the reason is presenting someone else's idea as your, as your own. Okay? Gibalik-balik na. Copy-paste, no? Asa kanin yung nag-i- I think sa Google ni tanda na yung mga answer. So, wala na? Napatay na nag-abot bago, no? So, any feedback or reaction or insights about plagiarism? Natay bago nang abot, uh, Mrs. Uh, si Ms. Shalana, no? Ms. Melody. What what is your insights about the kuni pang mention ni uh, uh, Ms. Hara? Asa may yung usa may yung idea about the and also amits no I need your insights with regard to this question plagiarism I will give you one minute to answer no? Okay balik-balik lagi apo no plagiarism is copying others work Plagiarism is the re representation of another author's language, thoughts, ideas, or expression as one's own original work. No, Michelana, internet gikani. No, gikani sa sa Google. The representation of another author's language, thoughts. No, actually, nakuha ni mo Michelana ako prepare nga answer. Dagan ko gipang basa ni nga definition. So, kaning imo answer is muna akong nakuha. So, credits this to the rightful owner from Google. Stealing, according to Ms. Hara, is stealing of someone's work. Okay? Yung mga mang-aagaw, di ba? Mang-aagaw na hindi naman sa kanila. No? Plagiarism. Okay? So, so much for that. So, when you say plagiarism, the definition, no, gikuha na, nakuha na ni Miss uh, Melody. Muna nga definition na kong gipili sa tanan na references nga akong gibasa. Okay, wrongful appreciation. So, when you say wrongful appreciation and stealing and publication class, it is about you steal someone's work, di ba? Yung kinuha mo ang pinaghirapan ng iba, di ba? Kinuha mo ang pinaguran ng iba. No? It is an act of stealing of someone's work. Yung sinasabi ng iba no? sa uban na mga section, mga agaw daw. So, yes. Inaagaw yung gawa ng iba at inaangkin inaang inaangkin na sa kanila na sa kanya di ba so it is a wrongful appreciation class okay na nga buingon ninyo mga teacher especially sa inyong gitawag na to nga research no avoid plagiarism no because it is not good to plagiarize any document or content from the other resources nga inyong gamiton di ba diyan nato na makita nga on how will you create your own uh, idea, your own phrases or content. This will measure, measure your critical thinking skills. Diba? Sa unsa ka magsulat, unsa ka mag-construct of sentence, thoughts or ideas. So that is plagiarism class. You need to avoid plagiarism stealing or wrongful appreciation. Next is nanay law. No? Protected na siya sa law. Republic Act number 8293. Take note, ha? Republic Act 8293. This law is that intellectual property code of the Philippines. In any copyrighted violation, in any copyrighted crimes committed by a certain person, money ang balaod nga kinahanglan ni mo atubangon. RA 8293. 
Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. Way back January 1, 1998, no? This bill passes and, uh, and signed by the former president of the Republic of the Philippines, Fidel B. Ramos, no? The approval of Fidel B. Ramos to protect the reputation and dignity of the author of a certain uh, article, literary works, artistic works, or literary arts, and so on and so forth. So this law will help to protect the copyrighted materials. Example, another example for intellectual property. Katong na viral, no? I think two years ago. Katong seven Evelyn. Seven Evelyn is they used the logo, the content of a certain big businesses, uh, big firm, the Seven Eleven, di ba? Gigamit nila ang logo, even though nga nagingon mo ging kwana nila nga. So, muna siya. Law protects the dignity of the author. Intellectual property. Mo ito nga naitabo sa 7 Evelyn. Gipa, kuha yun. Gipalangkat ang ilang poster. Okay, they are not allowed to use the name of the store, 7-Eleven, without the permission. No? Kung gusto ka makagamit ka na nilang company name, naas na sila gitawa nga franchise, no? franchisee. May mo kang franchisee, franchisee sa Osaka company with a certain payment. No? Nanas like kwa, ka ng investor or kung gusto ka mag-invest sa ilaha, kung gusto ka may mo franchisee, magbayad ka og amount na i-allowed ka nga magamit sa ilahang name. No? That is franchisee. Example, si Jollibee. Jollibee is na tukod sa din sa Balingan Sagtood kay si Basoy nag-franchise siya o Jollibee, the fast food chain, no? Jollibee. Kung wala na nag, uh, na ngayon o, o kung wala na nag-franchise si Basoy sa Jollibee, dili na siya allowed nga mag-create siya ang kagalingo na tindahan o Jollibee. So with that scenario class, that is an intellectual property. No? Again, you are not allowed to use the certain logo, certain uh, slogan of the company na dili ka allowed. Sa pagmingong ka nga, magtukod ka yung karinderiya nga gitawag ni mo kuan, Jollibee. No? Sir, Jollibee man ni Sir, di man ni Jollibee. But, kung gigamit ni mo ang statue ni Jollibee, violate ya pong ka sa intellectual property. You are not allowed, again, you are not allowed to use the structure, the logo, the physical uh, structure of the uh, protected business firm or protected business na mga logo, di ba? Mo ganin na nga natay gitawag nga intellectual property. No? Again, intellectual property no protects the dignity sa mga author sa mga copyrighted materials, not not only sa mga books, sa mga literary works and also the product brand name, no? Again and again, sa mga bago nang abot, sa bago nang ka-enter, nakasulod, intellectual property. Republic Act 8293, also known as Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. The next is... Next is, natagitawag nga, fair use. Okay, another question, fair use. So, katong mga late nag sulod, what is fair use? You can send your feedback sa atong chat box. Again, tagahanta mo 
one minute to answer this question. Okay, according to Mr. Christian, using equally. No? The equal or the equality of the the words, the phrases, or uh, content. According to Mr. Eliza, fair use is any copying of copyrighted materials. According to Ms. Amit, uh, it's a doctrine in the United States law. No? Credits to this, uh, Ms. Amit, no? sa internet ni Munigikuha. In limited use of copyrighted materials without having to first acquire permission from the copyright holder. So, credits ni sa sites ngayon mong ikuwa, ha? Ikuwa ni mo ni sa internet. So, how about the others? Any, any idea or insights? So next time ko mag-answer mo copy page from the internet pag butangin ninyo guana butangin ninyo citation ko asa nagikan Okay according to Miss Carol it permits the party to use copyrighted works okay So how what any idea Okay according to Carol it's the right to use the copyrighted works under certain conditions without permission of the copyright owner. According to Ms. Irenia, gives users the right to use copyrighted materials without permission under certain circumstances. Okay, so gabalik-balik na mga ano? Yung mga adjectives nga yung ginagamit. So yung mga idea with one source yun yung lang gina bali, bali Okay, so thank you for that insights. Okay, so when you say fair use class, it's a legal concept that allows the reproduction of copyrighted materials. Okay, the concept again and again, the concept for fair use is that the reproduction of copyrighted materials. It means that you are allowed to copy and reproduce a article or books but into a limited uh, usage. No? Pwede din mo siya gamitin sa educational purposes, sa critical or critical criticism or commenting, parody or, or mga educational purposes, no? newscasting or journalism. No? Muna ang gitawag na ito nga fair use. Another example, eh, yung teacher magpapotokopy yung books. Eh, walay available nga books. Ang pabuat sa inyo sa teacher is potokopy mo, it's either one to three pages, and then gamiton for discussion. That is fair use. Why? It's because wala na gibaligya sa teacher. Even though nagbayad mo pang potokopy. With that scenario, wala ninyo gibaligya. No? That is fair use. And then the other situation is kung nag-iputokapi ng utanan books tapos imong gibaligya, no? you are violating the copyrighted materials, the copyrights of that book. No? You are not allowed. But in fair use, gamitin ni mo siya into educational purposes, into research, as long as wala ni mo gibaligya. So that is fair use class. Muna yung piminti ho na on nga ang muni ang fair use na ginagamit sa ato mga teachers, sa inyong mga subject teachers, no? For uh, for the educational purposes, no? Obtaining permission and without paying a fee or royalty. Other other na mga kwan class, na mga educational sites na anay bayad Pangayuan ka nila o premium, tatila ang monthly, para lang maka, 
kuan mo, no? Maka itawag na tong maka subscribe, no? So with that, uh, with that case, no? Mag bayad ka og premium. It's either monthly or yearly para maka-access ka sa ilang educational na mga sites. So again and again, fair use is the legal concept that allows the reproduction of copyrighted material. Pwede ka magpapotocopy basta kay limited ang iyong uses. Basta kay for educational purposes, not for earning or gaining a money, di ba? Dili lang kay mag reproduce ng books ako ni baligya kay fair use fair use that is wrong. Bawal na siya. Naka-violate gyud po ka sa copyright do the intellectual property, no? Gawas ko ang gingnan ka sa publisher nga pwede ka magpotocopy tagaan kag authorization letter, no? Nga pwede ka magpotocopy ana din imong ibaligya. Pwede ra na. But with that case, kung na mo'y agreement sa publisher og sa author but without any agreement na inyong na-discuss, dili na siya pwede. Okay? So, in this next uh, slides, I will show you a video about the copyrights and the fair use. No? This video credits to YouTube for educational purposes only. In today's digital world, it's easier than ever to copy, paste, mashup, remix, download, and publish content. People's writing, artwork, videos, and images can be inspiring, but they're also easy to take without thinking twice. When people treat the internet like a free-for-all, legal and ethical situations can arise. That's why it's important to know about copyright and fair use. It will help you give and receive credit where credit is due. So what's a copyright? Copyright law protects your control over the creative work you make. It requires people to get your permission before they copy, rework, or share what you make. Most things that you find, download, and copy and paste from the internet are copyrighted. That doesn't mean that everything online is on lockdown and can't be used. It can, as long as you check who owns it, get permission to use it, give credit to the creator, buy it if necessary, and use it responsibly, then you're not stealing. Now, there are times when you can use a small part of someone else's copyrighted work without permission or paying a fee. This is called fair use. Fair use only applies when using content in certain instances. Schoolwork and education, news reporting, criticizing or commenting, and comedy or parody. Specific guidelines, what we call the four points of fair use, must also be followed. First, you can only use a small amount of the work. Second, you have to add new meaning to the work to make it original. Third, you need to rework it and use it in a totally different way. Finally, you have to use it for nonprofit purposes. In other words, you can't make money off of your new creation. No matter what, it's a good idea to give credit to the creator of the work you use. It's just a sign of respect. So what should you do if you find something online that you want to use? As a rule of thumb, check who owns it, get permission to use it, give credit to the creator, buy it if necessary, and use it responsibly, which means judging for fair use. You're a creator, innovator, and inspirer. Think twice about your rights and responsibilities in our online culture, and then pay it forward. Okay, so that was uh, copyright and fair use. So class, again and again, think before you click. Na? So sa mga ipang share ninyo, ipang gamito ninyo sa inyong research na mga uh, materials or articles or content na inyong pagkakwaon, avoid plagiarism and then use fair use, no? 
citation, kinahanlan ay citation, and then preference, no? I know nga, getuduan mo na sa inyong subject teacher. So you need to avoid any, kwan, any legal, any legal na mga uh, activity, especially online. So class, any clarification? Violent reaction. Any clarification? Violent wala reaction. Sir. Wala so, na, sir. Okay, wala na. So, again and again, uh, thank you for your virtual participation. No, Mag-send ko og links attendance after sa closing prayer. Okay? So, Mr. Anton, pakilid paliyog sa closing prayer. Okay, si, uh, Mr. si Anton man to gaganina, manawag nila kong lain. Uh, si, kuha na lang. Si Lu Luis. Miss Luis. Luis. Miss Rania. So missing. Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Yes, sir. Okay. Closing prayer for you, Miss Rania. Volunteer for you. Closing prayer. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Dear Lord, thank you for this date. Thank you because we have learned um, not new things, but we have learned more. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, once again, thank you for your virtual participation class. No, Keep safe always. Stay at home. God bless us all. So, na na, send ako attendance link. So, after niyo makasubmit, pwede na mo mag-leave. Thank you so much. No. Thank you, sir.